what I want to give you right now is I'm going to give you a couple of reference words. When we say words, we're saying these words because it's a reference to what the tongue movement is doing. It's not actually a word that you want to say into the call. Um, that's a big misunderstanding, and a lot of guys get get confused because they might you know purchase a call and then they read the packaging on the call and it says say this word or say that word into the call you cannot say words into calls and make them operate we just want to use a reference word to illustrate what our tongue is doing so the reference word that I want to give you right now is the word UCK it's not really even a word but we're saying the word uh, uh, U-C-K, and really think about what your tongue is doing when you say that word. Uh, uh, the tip of my tongue is down, uh, and the back part of my tongue is raising to the roof of my mouth. And I'm focusing on the K sound of uh. That K sound is the most important part of that, of that word or that reference because the part of my tongue that touches the roof of my mouth in that K sound is what we're going to use to break this note over. So let's practice that and just really focus that a couple times just saying the word. Uh, and emphasize that K sound. And notice the back of the tongue. Uh, 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 that. that is where my tongue is cutting off the air. And as my tongue raises to the roof of my mouth, Air pressure is building, and then once it touches the roof of my mouth, it's cutting the air off, which is forcing that reed to break over inside the call. So let's so practice saying the word uck a couple times. Uck, 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 and emphasize that K sound. Now what I want you to do is take away the word. We want to take what we practice, which is that low, deep sound, that and we want to apply that tongue movement that we've been practicing. But don't say the word uck. Just use the tongue movement. And it's going to sound something like this. And really emphasize that K sound. Let's practice it in the back end of the call. Um, because remember, right now we're just practicing our inside mechanics. We don't care what this call is going to do because it's not going to do anything because we're blowing in the back end of the call. This is a great way to practice. So I'm practicing the low sound and then applying that tongue movement into the K position. We want to keep practicing in the back end of the call because we want to make sure we're very consistent in that. And also, if any of you guys got any bad habits of grunting, that's just, this is where that nasty little habit might resurface. So really practice doing that low sound and then the K position into the back end of the call until you're confident that it's consistent every time. Because chances are, once we turn the call around, you're probably going to hit it the first time, first one or two times and then you're going to get excited and then your those bad habits might resurface so we want to become consistent in what we're doing before we move forward so keep practicing in the back end of the call before you move forward mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.